another dragon we fight. Attack. We can get on this. Come on, come on. It's a jellyfish. Skeleton guy. Let's go for that. Hmm. Pretty easy. Showed up. Perfect timing. Oh. 
Bone Colossus. Um, yeah, let's take a different yeah. route. See how many times he died killing us? Yeah. Challenge. I hope someone's already there. Help me. This moment, come and perish. Oh, can he move? Yeah. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need help on that.
Freak Kitty. The messenger. If you survive, you will know the message. One to deliver our message. Perhaps you will die like the rest. Yes! <laughs> 
chest. Long to the Akavir. <laughs> Yeah. 
share our story. Die, and you will share our tomb. Kill the intruder. Only the strong can carry our message. Bypass the herpes. Ooh, big. Yeah. a big salmon turtle. Wow, uh, I don't think I can bypass the minotaur. Let's see. I really want to. I 
avoid an unnecessary fight. Five Claw! I decided to join you. Aneshi deserves to hear that I still live in my own words. Welcome to Aneshi's humble shrine, Kunzari. Here, we remember the tales of the hero of ancient elsewhere. Old Aneshi doesn't get many visitors, friend. Few find much comfort in the ancient tales of Kunzari during these trying times. Wait, Aneshi recognizes your friend. She is grown now, more serious, but this one knows Princess Kamira by Jold. Aneshi's beloved wife, Zaima, worked with the militia for a time after we avoided Uraxia's purge of the palace. Passed along information until the Uraxians caught her. They killed her in the palace courtyard. If Aneshi can help, he will do so. Then you need to enter the palace crypts. A forgotten passage in the crypts leads to the royal kitchens. Aneshi will write down directions to where he hid his master key. The key opens a door in the sewer under the palace that leads to the crypts. Jode above, old Aneshi can hardly believe his eyes. Princess Camilla. So it is truly me, Castellan, but I am Queen Kamira now. We will throw the usurper from my father's throne. We stayed close to the castle. Zaima, my brave and beloved wife, she passed information to the militia until the vile Uraxians got her. After that, Aneshi came here to restore this ancient shrine. This one will help you as best he can, my queen. I will visit with Aneshi, Five Claw. Recover the master key and meet me in Raymond. Follow the road west, short time, and then turn left. Oh, it's like directions. I love how it's like, oh yeah, just follow the direction. Nah. Just look on your map. Wait. Uh, I should sleep like a log tonight. Okay. Yeah, that's in front. Oh, this is a different quest down here. Okay, that's why I'm like confused. Well, aren't you off in a hurry? Heading to Surindar's cradle? I hope you brought your own water skin. Or you could buy one off me. My rates are reasonable, given the drought. Water, or rather the lack of it. Something stopped the flow from the aqueduct to Surindar's cradle. I've been hauling water for them in the meantime, but they can't keep this up forever. Don't know. Old stones, old gates and levers, who can say for sure? I overheard the adepts discussing the trouble. A young one, Vosby, seems keen to solve the issue. If you want to know more, She's the person to ask. Yeah. Okay, let's continue to get the master key first. Sneaky, 
Oh, badger. Now I gotta go to the city. Oh, I'm gonna do this quest. On that quest first. Ooh, I wanna avoid that. So we're planning to take down the queen, evil queen. We're just not going to be fun. So we got to kill the right hand man first. So I'm trying to level up as best I can. about the water, Silujo. If you would just... No adept can face the wastes alone, child. This one insists you stay. Vasby cannot understand. Only puddles remain in the Ereptorium cisterns, but still Silujo forbids this one to act. Our Ereptorium, Srendar's cradle, is parched by a drought. We rely on the Anequina aqueduct to supply a water but something halted the flow. Now adepts and pilgrims go thirsty. We tend to the sick here. Without water, many of them may die. Huh. No, and we never will if Silujo gets his way. He yowls about the risks, but the Vazbi is not the sorcerer-eyed kitten she was when Silujo found her. This one must fix this. You're a warrior, yes? Would you escort the Vazbi to investigate the aqueduct? Yeah, there's no... Thank you for helping, Rook. We should investigate the nearest gate of the aqueduct, just south of here. Srendar willing, we will find... No. My teachers examined the Order's histories and found no evidence of droughts in the past. But we live in curious times, yes? Dragons fly, dead walk. A broken aqueduct would not seem out of place. Vazbi does not think so. Before the water reaches Srendar's oh, cradle, it passes Rimen. And for all the city's problems, a drought is not one of them. That means the flow... The Adeptorium itself? I know only that our ancestors built it in the days of 16 kingdoms. Vazbi has no ears for ancient history. This one does know that the Adeptorium has always been a place of healing, a refuge for all, no matter how ill. <laughs> we do what we can, but Vazbi fears it is not enough. Many come with seared flesh and blackened lungs, from the flames and smoke, you see. Others come with broken limbs. Most of our palliatives and salves require water, so you see the urgency, yes? So feel About possible. Vasby? Oh, this one's life is not so exciting. But if you insist, Vasby is an initiate and servant of Srendar, a healer in training also. Silujo and the other monks raised this one here in the cradle. Most learn the craft, but not all have the passion for it that this one does. Silujo says it is Vazbi's calling. This one thinks he is right. Yes, Vazbi's parents had... This was in the time of the flu, you see. Many orphans came to Srenda's cradle in those days. Most of them were not as lucky as Vazbi. Silujo cared for this one like a daughter. He still does, as you can see. No, this was not so long ago, Walker. 
You remember the groans and hacking coughs, yes? The blood? Surrender's cradles adepts healed as many as they could, but even the strongest tinctures and cleanest bandages fell short in the face of the flu. That flu really killed a lot. Okay. Oh, we're not going to that. Okay. Ah, oh, you found it. We should examine the gate at the top of the ramp. What? Examine the first gate. 